Okay, now I'm back. Well, I don't know. My other camera quit, so and actually quit working all together. I must have hit something. Messed. I don't know if I messed it up or that app just crashed. Same app, open camera. Great app, except for it does crash sometimes. You have to. Act. Sometimes you can just reset the default. Sometimes you gotta uh, reinstall it. So, luckily I have these three phones. But boy, today this is. Probably the first time I've done this much serious work on a car. Hard to get to work and try to make videos. It doesn't work good with with phones. I've had nothing but trouble with it the whole morning. Uh, videos keep stopping. So anyway, that's the relay. I, I don't know what was said in the last video because I don't know where it cut off. I put it back in, and it. I was looking for a bad fuse. I'm trying to reach up. I'm gonna mash the horn button. Matt, hopefully you can hear that clicking. So it's not, you know, I don't think I blew a fuse to that because it's got power and it's doing just what it does before I took it out. So I'm going to quit searching for fuses that are blown. None of them look blown in the fuse box. And like I was saying before, you can't just go by that to tell for sure. I've been fooled many times. You really just have to take them out and either put another one in or use a, t a continuity tester on them. Uh, or you can just stick them. See if they carry voltage either way, you know. Rig up some, some jumper wires and stuff. But uh, I'm going to get... Well, actually, I've never have actually been able to... Oh, I need that light. I never have been able to see... Let's turn this different so that when... No, I'll leave it. Put the legs out so that when I decide to set it down, it'll be ready for that. I've already got the creeper out. I did that earlier this morning. But I think I'm going to have to look from the bottom up. But let's look from here first. Let's see. I'm just going to hold it back out here for now while I'm looking. Yeah, I can see in there much better now. Itself. There's no horn in there. Of course, that's the radiator. And... So I'm going to look from the top. That I don't see why they would be. That's where you'd expect them to be. I don't see why they would be in there next to the lights. You know, I mean, that's the only area where there's real for the. Uh, I don't think there's. Well, I can't see the phone screen anyway, but I can't even tell where I'm pointing. But uh, I was going to try to look through that hole with the phone, but I can't even tell if I'm pointing it to the hole. I mean, I can see immediately right there. Where is one thing, though, I do see? Let's see. I don't think I need that light right now, anyway. Just don't want to hang, I don't want to hang it where it's going to fall. That it falls sometimes. It just has a plastic clip. But uh, the wires are green and red up under there, and I, other videos I saw and everything. There's a big green wire going through that hole. Another smaller green work coming out to this wiring harness. Probably, well, probably it right there. Hand, yeah. Can't see. So that's probably going over to the other one. I'm gonna bet. Should be two horns. So I guess I will have to get under and look up. Let's see what we get when we try that. Uh, 
board. Sometimes this phone will actually help me see places. I went ahead and take that out, not right now, but that's pretty old. That was in there. Oh, wait a minute. Let's just get it out while we're at it. I just don't want to be under it getting crap in my face. Let's see. Let's don't do it right now. The horns aren't going to be in front of the radiator. I need more light up there. I can't tell what I'm aiming at whenever I set it down very well. I wonder if I can shine light from up there. They are not in this section. They must be in there with the lights. I don't want to have to take out a light just to fiddle with testing a horn. Okay, so let's go to this one over here and see if I see anything. Oh, I can see up in there from this angle. I see the lights. You know what I still don't see? I still don't see a horn. Blind as a bat. They're not in there. There's no, at least not on this side. forget which side there we go Actually, I think that was working it's up in there I think you can see it yeah it's that thing with a hole in it kind of dark blackish it's a pretty dusty dirty old but that blackish thing with a hole in it there to the left of the screen so there's only one there's not one on the other side how do you get to the back of it to test it or anything I mean you can cut into the wire going to it, I guess, and give it some power. Or how do you get in there to get it off? That's weird. I want to look around more because it may be... Surely you don't take a light out to do that. There could be two up in this side. I don't know. I kind of would doubt it, but... I think it doesn't shine the way I want it to when I sit it down. So... You know, I always tout how easy it is to get to things on these old vehicles, but this is not one of those things. There's always something that's hard to get to. Get that, uh... cardboard out while I was down here.
most exhausting video day ever. Okay, let me get some things picked up. The camera doesn't want to stay where I put it. Okay. See if we're still making a video. Yeah, we're actually still making a video for a change today. Uh, let's go inspect it some more. Give me a drink of water. Yeah. Uh, you definitely can't reach the... Uh, to do anything with it from way down there. It is way up here. I've wondered about where's my hand? I wondered about taking this out to get in there. It's kind of close to where the horn is. But then you got a hole that you don't might not necessarily want. It's just like a knockout you could knock out, you know? It's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Let's get the light, I guess. Put the light out yeah, there. It is. If you put the light in the wrong place, it just fools the sensors and messes everything up. Okay, so you see this. Uh, I think it actually comes off on this thing. Is uh, the light back up there? Ow! There's bolts all the way across this, and this section here would come off. But I don't know that that would be an advantage as to getting to the horn. Actually, it wouldn't come off. It would just let you take the grill out. This part would be in there. There's a bunch more down in here. Yeah, that's not something I'm ever getting into. I'm not a body man. I don't want to be. Okay, so... Uh, there's wires. It goes... One of them at least goes to the home. That green one, I'm pretty sure, goes to the home not disconnected or anything a couple of wires there's one with a wire nut on it down there but that was there used to be a, a, a siren style uh, security system on this one I got it I, mean, I used to it didn't it would you could make it go off but it didn't work right or anything and I finally and I kept turning it was mounted here on the fender well and I kept got tired of sitting on it and hurting so I finally took it out it was kind of neat. I used to have it working. It would go off too easy <coughs> when you didn't want it to. But, uh... Hmm. I didn't know horns were that hard to get to on these things. You, actually, you know, I've never had a horn go out in any of all the old cars and trucks I've had over in my life. Never had a horn go out. But I'm just kind of thinking now that it's either a bad connection rusty ground or uh, the horns out and i've already kind of scoped out i went ahead and got the battery charger out i checked the van it wouldn't turn over and i got the battery charger out and uh, charged it up today it's still looking up in the good range after sitting there a while i just left it after it was charged and i got almost 14 volts on it and well i didn't check it again lately but Here's the horn on this one. Now this is this, got leaves in there and everything, but that is so hard to work on. But guess what? The horn is right there. <laughs> now I could rock this horn just to get 
Why is that like that? It's like a ground wire that has no place to go. I think it works though. Let's go see if it works. This, um, let me get this. I can't really carry it the way I've got it right now. I made it really short. I can't get it loose. So that I could carry it. And now I can't really carry it. Uh, so I could get it up under the dash of the blazer. But, uh, this thing needs a bath really bad. I actually did rinse it down yesterday. And it hasn't been cleaned in years. Okay. And the wiring almost was all, almost all the wiring in this truck was burned up. My uncle gave it to me and he, he rewired most of it his own way. Okay, now unless the horn has, the key has to be on for the horn to work. That's the horn button. It normally goes up here on the dash, but I have it off because I was getting into the dash. I had it loose. So here's what I want to check now. Get my key and see if you have to turn the key on. Actually, I was wondering if the... Uh, it had a, a... Generally, these Dodges... This is a Dodge van. Generally, they will crank over it when the battery's only at 11 volts. And I think it was a little over. Actually, I think it was 1195 volts. It even has a different ignition switch and add-on. That must not be the right key. There's two of them that look just about alike. One's for the gas and one's for the gas cap and one's for the ignition. There it is. No, it cranks. So it's just low. But why do, oh, turn the key on and see if the horn will honk. Maybe he wired it so it don't honk unless the ignition's on. There. There. I thought he sounded a little horn, but it works. That's a... Uh, interesting thing it kept clicking and then it worked so uh, it's a little light it used to work it doesn't work anymore I think the battery is a battery powered light because none of his dome lights worked either and I'd already tried putting some fuses back in the fuse box I mean front to back he re had to rewire it and uh, I believe it's partially my fault because a few years before that happened he was over here with it and showing it to me, and he was having trouble with a fuse, and, I was, and he didn't have any fuses. And I said, well, just to get you home, you could wrap it in tinfoil, wrap that bad fuse in tinfoil. And he's like, oh. And, and he was an electrician, really. He was an air conditioning man, and I think he had an electrical license, too. He did maintenance on hospitals and stuff, on the big air conditioners and stuff there. And a building maintenance, too. And... Uh, but he had never heard of that trick. Some old guys told me that back in the 70s when I first was a kid, when I first started learning stuff. Keys are bugging me. And uh, anyway, he did it. And then a few years later, he was getting older and his health wasn't good. And he asked me if I wanted this van. And I said, well, probably. And I went out and looked at it. And that's when I discovered all the wiring that had been burnt. And he had a Dodge Motorhome and the same thing had happened to it. So I think he had been putting those, I didn't ask him, I didn't want to insult him, but uh, I think he had been putting those, those doors aren't unlocked, okay, those uh, foil fuses, so don't, you know, I mean with DC wiring, once you get, uh, if you have a short or anything just overdrawn, like a heater fan overdrawing current and you don't have a fuse that'll blow, it will burn up the whole wire from front to back of the vehicle if you don't have a way to break that connection, so fuses are the life of a DC. Don't bypass them. And that's really what you're doing with the tinfoil. It's, it won't melt. You'd think if you got a thin enough strip, and I tried that, gum wrappers will work. Those old tinfoil gum wrappers, they don't even, they'll, they would burn. The paper on them would burn sometimes. But, uh, but they wouldn't burn out. I learned that on my 64 panel truck. And I also learned that I nearly burned, I burned up one long wire and I learned don't ever do all the insulation from one and the other burned off of it. So don't do what I say. Say what I do. So, so anyway, don't do what I'm telling you. No trash cans are ready to come in. I didn't even know they came. Okay, so horn works, and if I needed one, I could rob it. This is the same style. Instead of waiting, I don't know. It may not matter. I need uh, <coughs> I need windshield wipers. These are pretty well worn out. I washed this thing down with soap and water both yesterday. I didn't scrub it. I just washed it down. 
But one of them's got a big chip in it, and I want to make sure I don't have any trouble when I go to get inspected. But, horn. Well, I mean, I could pull the... See, I could... Okay, what could I do? I could find the horn. If I know for sure what was the horn wire, but all I see is the one green one. one that right now I've got this thing up long, and it doesn't really fit in here. Okay, so... Uh, Every time I come over here, I can't see a thing. Because of the way the line is in here. What I'm thinking, I think it's mostly that that I can't see that whether or not I'm aiming right. Well, so that one smaller green wire coming out and going around, it's not going to another horn. There's not another horn. Okay. There is only that one green wire going. Down where I think there's a horn. Looks just like the green wire. It's a big green wire. Looks just like the wire in the up under the hood. So I'm thinking then that that green wire is the power to the horn, and the ground is the cha is a is the frame is the chassis ground or the uh, in this case you know the frame the uh, front. What do you call it? I don't know what you call the thing. The part the grill mounts on, but it's built to the frame to the body to the body and the body is bolted to the frame. But anyway, you know, you generally do have body ground, lots of body grounds on cars and trucks, especially old ones. Um, everything else goes to the lights. This is a very awkward hurting arm. It's not heavy, but it hurts to sit here like this. So, Sit there. Gonna hang it up there. Tighten this up. Okay, now. Yeah, this wire right here is green under the dirt. This one's smaller in green under the dirt. They both go and come to something down there. <laughs> Could have fooled myself and there is another horn hiding up in there somewhere on the other side, but I certainly didn't see it. But, you know, I could, uh, actually I could rob that horn from that Dodge, just for a tester. Put this wire up to it. I could always, actually I could just poke. I've got a, a test light. Oh, the test light. I could hook the test light to ground, poke it in here, but then who's going to match the horn button for me? Nobody. Maybe if I can rig it up, it'll stay. Let me go get the test light. It's around here somewhere. I had it out in case I needed it. That's exactly what test lights are for. Yeah. I can even see it from up here by the horn if I can get this rigged up. So what I can do then is plug, punch just a small hole with that point into the wire. Also tell me if that's the wire I think it is and then the other one I'll just tuck on, on the frame on the body. I know that's got some, some bare metal. It's not rusty. Tell me for sure if I'm getting the power. Yeah, actually, right. pull a little out of this insulation, do it up in there, and then shove it back. Okay, now. Uh, probably need my. I don't really want to end up poking my own finger. That would hurt. 
all my lights way up there. Is there enough light to show? Nope. So, that will be in the way. situation here already. I don't know if it's helping. <coughs> Maybe that'll do it. Yeah, I think that was just enough. Okay. First off, we'll just see if we can get, I just don't know for sure how good of a ground I have, really. Let's see if we can get a, get it through there, into the wire. I'll just press the button and see if it comes on. And I'm still going to have to check on my ground. <laughs> Look at that. What in the world? How did that make it work? I would say that's probably a grounding problem. But I thought the green one, you know, green is sometimes ground. It's not always the same with a car. Let's uh, find a better ground. That made the horn work. Well, look, everything's good, but something up in here, man. Well, try this again. I'm having a scratch. Yeah, there we go. Scratch through that paint a little bit. The green wire, um, what I'm thinking is maybe there's another power wire somewhere that I can't see. I don't see why. But running from, from here to ground is what I'm doing through that test light. I don't see how that completes it. Okay, don't honk again. I thought I heard it. You might hear it on the video, but I didn't hear it out, out here. I thought maybe the one was kind of clicking a little. So, but there's clicking up there on the. This truck's sitting around for two years. My, there's something gooey all over my steering wheel. I mean, they get goo and they get over. But there's some. I saw some gooey. Look like tree sap or something. I don't know where it came from or what it is. But I'm gonna have to clean the heck out of that steering wheel before I can drive it. I can't always stand smashing the home button. It's everywhere. I felt it on the steering wheel itself and didn't think much about it. It's some weather thing has gotten up gooey. I think the heat makes the. But I never. I mean, if the light did come on, maybe it would be showed up in the video, but it didn't show up to me. A lot of times it will do that when you're not using it as a test light. Like if I was to take, well that wouldn't work. I don't if I turned around the other way it wouldn't make any difference. <coughs> but uh, get something, let's see, what else do I have? <coughs> Give me get my test. I was thinking if I had another lead I could use, another jumper. I guess one of these with the, the little yeah, I can come combo them up I guess so get this one now that I've made a hole in it might get lucky with this one this bigger one it has some pretty long teeth on it but sometimes this will not uh, Consistently make a good circuit. It's not even meant to do that, you know. Let's see. 
Now the light's giving me trouble. I can't see. Well, that's going to short it out. It's funny about a test light. It won't uh, short. That's not helping. Yeah, if that's power like I think it is. Okay, here. That's what you use a bolt meter for, I mean. Yeah. Keep laying my tools down and then I need them handy, but if I have them in my pocket and I fall around in places and then shouldn't be getting any power unless the one button is on. Okay, no power. Now if I can get this to kind of just stand up here like I can do with that other one. These aren't quite as long and pointy though. And then I'll use a jumper wire if I can get one to... Okay, I think maybe it's in there. Use a jumper wire to ground. Let's see if we get see if we get any sound or I can see any voltage. I don't think I'll be able to see it. I don't want to be able to see it right there. Maybe I can see that when I go up here and mesh the button. Okay, well, there's just too many loose, possible bad connections in there, I think, I know. But, if I get me a better connection in there, hey, I've got some of those deals that I hate to use. Those inline connection things. These little deals, they really a, they really are a pain in the butt. And sometimes they'll cut your wire in two, see. But I don't know of anything any better at this moment. So I can put that in there. Oh yeah, I gotta put another wire in there first and then you squeeze it. Put your wire that you want to come out. What I'm thinking about is mounting mounting up that hooking up that other horn or even just putting a wire in there to where's my wire? <clears throat> I'm going to pick this up and carry it with me now. <clears throat> Hearing the horn honks encouraging though. So, this, I think the battery may be getting low. This is the one camera that has the most apps on it and it uses up the battery. Oh, it's actually doing pretty good. Oh no, this is not. This is the one that lasts longer. So, I just need some, guess I better get a pretty big piece of wire. That's almost, not quite as big as that other one, but it's this one here. 
It's already got an end on it that would go under the horn. I think I'm going to do that for now because it's, I'm hoping this will be temporary. Yeah, <laughs> famous last words. But I am hoping this will be temporary. So. Sorry, the one nuts trying to aim everything. I think I'll leave that at that angle because I can get right there. And then when I go back under the hood, it'll be at the right angle for that. So, wire. So what I'm going to do then is put this up in there and crimp it over that. And uh, I don't think I need to strip it. Well, I was, that was pretty... I think it's okay, actually. I think it looks all chloe. Yeah, I think maybe... Let's, let's straighten it out and see. It may be alright. Sometimes, like if you're soldering wires, I did that not too long ago. I had a wire that I'd had for years like this. And I just was in a hurry and I didn't want to cut it off. Didn't want to lose any wire. I tried to solder an old, uh, it wasn't corroded, but it was it was corroded, but not in the filthy sense like a, a truck. It was just been exposed to the air so long that it, uh, it didn't solder with the crap. And I melted my 8 inch. Jack, audio jack will come to start. So, actually, I think what I want though is to, yeah. So I really want it cut off. Never know when I might be the one getting on the ground, but do some work. So I don't really want to wait on that. So, yeah, I put one through here. Put it on the inside, and then I may have to spread it out to get that big one in there. I will to get it over that big one. Oh, it butts in one way. Okay. So yeah, we want to go one way, and then the other one goes. Is you have to do it that way. So uh, yeah, if you try to put it in the other way, it's got to stop. Right. Used to use these. They used to use these a lot to like wire. Like, say, you hauled it, and they probably still do. Or I think they have something a little different, but uh, wire in trailer lights on your vehicle real quick from your tail lights. Half the time, they'll cut the wire and the insulation. I don't, so I don't like them, but I can always splice that if I break it. But I want to, I'm either going to add that other horn, or this will just give me a good solid hookup, even just to do more testing. But I think maybe that horn is bad. If I put that other horn on there and it honks every time, then it's not like a bad switch or anything else, you know, I'll know. And I'll have a horn for now. So, we'll see. But I can't crimp this down until I, I get it up there over that wire. So, I'm just going to lay it right here. Just leave everything here for now. Get this back in its place to show, what, show and tell. That was my favorite thing at school when I was in first grade. Show and tell. Here's the mail truck. I'm not going out there today. Now watch him have me a box or something. Okay, let's see. That is right in the middle, I think. I think the light's got really weird. Yep, I think she's got me a box. Okay, I'll come back in a minute then.